Good morning, folks. We've got plasma heading at the Earth, earthquake science on the U.S. West Coast, past disaster, and more confirmation of the formation mechanism of the galactic current sheet. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun with coronal holes on the south and incoming on the north. But the focus is the plasma filament eruption down on the south. A small prominence snapped, and while it collapsed, the event pushed upper coronal particles out on a wide angle. Stereo with Earth off to the right shows the vertical distribution of the CME ejecta in the solar system, and then SOHO, looking from Earth's line of sight, sees the majority of that burst going south, but with some still hidden behind the disk. Coming our way. NASA and NOAA's Enlil spirals both show a weak impact. Neither has forecast geomagnetism for the event as of this morning, but if the CME arrives as the second punch right after the coronal hole stream, we will indeed get low-level storm conditions from that one. Nothing close to scary, though. Top quake of the last day was in the Solomon Islands, but they handle sixes like you handle a snack. No, the more notable quake was the fourth four-pointer off the coast of Oregon in a week. Hopefully someone is looking at live swarm data behind the scenes, because at the hardest forecast zone on Earth, these scientists say the swarm signals began five days before a main shock. Hopefully these are just jitters. Point of interest next. Love the comments on yesterday's 25-second spinning star and the incredulity. Well, how about a 16-hour year for a planet and the second hottest planet they found? These guys need Dr. Robitaille over at Sky Scholar like nobody's business. Up next, folks, we've got an excellent look at a major event occurring with the Dansgaard Oshker event three cycles ago. Remember, each of those is about 1,500 years. This one resulted in the complete collapse of an exceptionally advanced Chinese society, one that was like Rome amidst the desert in the Asian world at the time. Then, super flare, and they disappeared. And last but not least, folks, hopefully we recall the naming circus of the galactic current sheet. Some call it the magnetic field of the midplane, some call it feathers or spurs or interim spiral shocks, and you'll recall we don't care what they call it. And if you've really been sucking up the info the last year and a half, you might also recall that the dwarf galaxy formation hypothesis was dying. It just so happens that the formation mechanism really doesn't matter either in terms of the solar triggering potential. But when it's the galactic magnetism and not a dwarf collision, it actually makes electric sense. And here, already having debunked the Sagittarius and Centaurus colliders, we find the chances of any other neighbor triggering it almost disappear. They're not even in orbit. They are purely first-time visitors for the moment. It is, in fact, the galactic magnetic field making the sheet. We greatly appreciate your support. Did you miss part four of the climate miniseries last night? Better get on that one. Like button is needed. Store closing early December for our holiday break. Get those orders in now. We've got throwback wind maps today and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.